Uh, hello guys, welcome again. Today I'm showing you how to do the invariance uh, precondition and postcondition in correctness, Java correctness. Uh, I'll try to keep it very simple. Private int number. I put just this variable and public um, simple, which is the constructor and inside we have one integer and this dot number equals to x which is passing this integer to this which is the object and there called number object and we need to uh, for example we need to add a public uh, and get a get number which you know I'm sure this is not difficult return this dot number and that's all for now this is the getter yeah now we are ready to do the pre post and invariance here now if we go there and j unit test case like this and because i already have this this finish and next is uh, not available to me because i have already done this you can do like that this is the test which i have done test class in this class we need to have this add annotation at the top of the method and test showing that this is test class and test method otherwise it will not accept it java will not accept it as a test method this is the object as you know the object of simple class uh, passing five as an argument to this constructor x and setting value here to to number so basically we are setting the value to this number so if we want to put the invariance first of all we put we write invariance and we import the invariant library which is this invariance or let me yeah invariance and we sit inside this a condition condition for this number which is the private end so we say that number equals or greater than um, smaller than 10 and number greater than zero <coughs> uh, what we do here we just put this condition that the number should be from one to nine after nine it will not accept any number and before zero it will not before one it will not accept any number so if we go to the test case we have five here and it should accept 5 as a valid number which is here green means it's accepting 5 if you make it 15 it should not accept it because this is invalid number according to condition look this is red it's not accepting and showing the contract dot invariant error which is this condition and it is violating this condition so that's why it will not work so if we write for example minus 5 it should not again it should not work because this is violating this condition so from 1 to 9 is perfect for this method this is the invariant and if we want to put or to set precondition precondition is set at the top of the method uh, we just write requires which is the keyword for it 
and we have to put it there we import the library for it contract invariance contract requires same way for the post condition is another one which is ensure okay requires what requires requires that x which is this x is greater than zero or uh, or x smaller then for example we, we just call it five why because we want this time to uh, this to catch the the back in our program so if we put the value over five or equal five it will catch the value as back right now it's five we run it it should be throwing yeah, it's throwing precondition error. Not anymore. The disinvariant error. Now this is precondition error. Why? Because it's not meeting this condition. So if you want to write uh, post condition ensures, we write ensures at ensures. We import this library ensure here, <coughs> and here we put x. For example, uh, first of all, let me tell you one thing. This is the requires the precondition precondition uh, precondition is. Uh, precondition is the entry point entry condition this is the entry condition for a method this is the entry for the method it's setting the value the condition for entry to get entry to this method while post condition post condition is the opposite Shen is the exit exit condition so this is the the condition which has to be true at the exit point this is the condition which has to be true at the entry point so if this condition is true it, we will be, be allowed to go inside the method otherwise we will stay out of the method if this is true we'll exit the method correctly otherwise it will throw an exception if it is false it will throw an exception and will not let us set the value to number so we put the condition here as x greater than 0 and x smaller than for example we have there 5 and smaller than 3 for example or let's make it even uh, more specific if we say x equals equals 2 for example we want only this to return 2 what we were uh, we are trying is to this is the precondition error if we change it to 4 it will be the post condition error yeah post condition error x equals to y we put here 4 and 4 we need there 2 that's why so uh, throwing the post condition error now it will be fine yeah fine perfect 2 is perfect why because the post condition is satisfied with value of 2 so this is what uh, this is what we do in precondition and post condition and invariance i hope you understand some of it uh, uh, the reason i have done this tutorial is because i could not find more of these 
regarding the uh, pre and post conditions that's why I've done this thank you guys for watching